Hi guys, this is Chris Davis. I'm uh, just going to show you how to connect your newly built Altair Duino to um, a, a screen and to a keyboard to use the built-in VT100 emulator in there. Um, there's some confusion. Um, sometimes the instructions are not quite so intuitive. Uh, we're using some really old computer technology here. Even though it's emulated, it's uh, doesn't work the way computers do nowadays. So what we're going to do is, well, first let me show you. I've got a uh, monitor I purchased at Amazon. I'll have a link below. Uh, it's just a cheap little uh, security monitor. It's got a variety of inputs. It's got composite input, VGA, HDMI, and it's a nice four to three aspect ratio like the old time monitors, and it's very inexpensive. Uh, here for the keyboard, I have a PS2 keyboard I got from Amazon. This was literally eleven dollars. Um, so I I would say most keyboards will work with this system, but uh, some of the well, I, I can guarantee you, you're not going to get a wireless keyboard to work with this. Um, and some of the uh, USB keyboards, even though you might have a PS2 adapter, um, some of them are just not quite wired to work with a with a, a PS2 input. So, you know, like I said, this is only $11 on Amazon. Uh, I've tried a few other keyboards with USB adapters, and they've all worked too. Um, so here we go. We're, we're in a powered off state, so we're going to turn the power on. But before we just flip the switch on, well, actually, let's try it. We're going to flip the switch on, and you see everything lights up. And uh, the monitor should be starting up here pretty soon, because there is power being applied to the VT100 emulator, but you're not going to be able to do anything. Uh, you'll see the copyright statement on the video screen, but really it, it won't work for anything. And this is where you know a lot of guys say, hey, it's not working, it's not working. Well, because the default output is going out the USB connector, and we don't have the USB connected to anything right now. So let's go ahead and turn it off. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip up switch zero here, uh, so that's a binary or a, a, a octal or hexadecimal. That's a one. Um, and we're going to hold up the deposits toggle while we turn the power on. And what that does is that tells it to load configuration one as we're powering on. And if you have the SD card that was included with your kit, if you have that inserted in the back, it will load configuration number one, which is set to output to serial port one, which is our VT100 emulator. So I'm gonna hold up deposit switch right there, and I'm just gonna hold it up. I'm gonna keep it held up while I turn the power on, okay? And once the power's on, we're gonna release the deposit switch. Now, a lot of guys will type on the keyboard and go, well, well it's still not working. Well, that's because this is not a modern computer, and there's nothing running right now uh, we've got power to the VT100 emulator, we've got power to the Altair Duino, but there's no program running. So that's why you're not going to get any response from the keyboard. Um, so one of the things that I like to do to test this right away is I'll flip switch 12 up, I'm going to put switch 0 back down. So 12 up uh, and nothing else up, and then I'm going to push down aux, the, uh, aux 2. And what we're going to see, we see the list of disk images pop up. So you see right now, we are getting data on our screen. Uh, I'm gonna, if I pop up 12 and 13, push aux 2 down, we're gonna get the list of hard disk images. Uh, another thing we can do is we can turn those off and we can lift aux 1. Uh, the default for lifting aux 1 is to launch Microsoft 16K Basic. So we do that and you'll see right there on the screen, it's asking memory size, we'll just hit enter uh, and we will hit uh, for line printer an uppercase O for Oki data. It has to be uppercase. Enter. And uh, now we are running basic. Um, so there we go. So now we're, we can see that the data is going out serial port one and coming in serial port one. And that is the VT100 emulator on serial port one. Now, what if you always want to use it this way? You don't want to have to deal with, you know, holding the deposit switch up while you turn it on. Well, you know what? Let's uh, hold up the stop switch and hold up aux one. And we're going to the setup screen here. 
uh, the setup screen allows us to make changes. Now, what we could do is if we, right now, we've got our, our configuration one loaded. Now, if we saved this, if we hit uppercase S to save it, if we saved it as configuration zero, that's what would always run every time we turn on this device. Right now, configuration zero has uh, the data going out the serial port, or the, yeah, the, I mean, I'm sorry, the USB port. So if we want it to always be the VT100 emulator, always be serial one, we can save this as configuration zero, and that's what will start every time we start this device if, nothing, if none of the switches are set. I hope that helps.